you beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel it's long overdue um yeah it feels very very awkward to be here to be sitting here but i just figured it's time it's it's just time to sit down and just play with makeup and be creative again i mean these past couple months have been pretty hard um so i wasn't really feeling the vibes to get on YouTube and to be proactive in filming and stuff like that but um, a lot of things going on personally for me as well and I had promised a video like months ago and then like the political reform happened with the police brutality and George Floyd and everything like that so I just was so overwhelmed even though I try to give like positive influ influence positive influential things on my page with like my faith and my and God and just like uplifting content and stuff like that so you know everybody goes through a lot behind the scenes so I'm just gonna sit down and do our makeup or else this video is gonna be like an hour long and I'm filming in my basement studio so if you guys hear crickets or any type of noise just know that's what it is for right now I want to improve my studio setup my lighting my sounds um, but that's all gonna come in due time and I kept beating myself up because I didn't have everything in order and I'm kind of a perfectionist so yeah that's why I am gonna do a look with the Jaclyn Hill palette I did put on my Instagram that I was going to do a actual look with this palette because it's one of my favorites and my first YouTube video back on YouTube would be with this palette. So in true Jaclyn Hill fashion, which I love her, um, everybody makes mistakes and that's just what it is. We just got to move on from those mistakes and, you know, I just don't think that we should like squander her forever because of a few lipsticks like shit happens so long with a youtube video so in the spirit of forgiving let's get straight to it um i'm just priming my face but hold on i think i gotta get my hair out my face because this is gonna be crazy So yeah, let's just get my hair out of my face real quick. I didn't even like lay this wig down like the best of my ability. It's like coming up on the sides, but you know what? We're just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it. But yeah, how are you guys feeling about these past couple months? We've been in quarantine, and um, I was quarantined upstate New York. And it was, it was fun, it was beautiful. It was just away from everything and everybody, especially like the city. So I um, got to, you know, just relax and de-stress and go for like daily runs and jogs and stuff like that. So while everybody was like, you know, like the hoopla when it first like started happening in March and before we went on shutdown I was just like okay well this is what it is let's just make the best of it I used the Smashbox I like to mix because I'm like in a rush day I'm not well, I'm not really in a rush, but I want to get this over with. Kind of, kind of, but not really. I would do the Pure Lease um, Aqua Energizing Watermelon. The Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. And then I would put the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And then I use my eye cream to prep my skin. The Banana Bright Eye Cream with Vitamin C by Ole Henriksen. Been my skin prep for makeup nowadays um but yeah i like to do my brows first 
because it gives me like a guide. Um, that's that's how I normally do my makeup. So I'm just going to do what I normally do on here for YouTube. And I'm using CoverGirl's, um, I believe they're Easy Brow Sculpt in Brown, Light Brown. It's actually brown, but I kind of lighten it to be brown. But let's see. Yep, it's it's kind of like a chocolatey brown, but you can like use this in several ways. You can do it bold, you can do it bold look, or you can like brush it out to give a really, really soft look. But why am I doing it so far away? Let me just zoom y'all in. That's pretty good. That's like zoomed in. See, ain't that better? Y'all can see me better? I think so. But I'm just gonna like, this is how I do my brows normally. Um, I take the pomade and I just like dry. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, the whole quarantine, I don't know, I was just like, I was out of it. Like, I usually take breaks from social media just from my mental because it was overwhelming. Like, I basically do my brows, um, I'm gonna like clean them up. Oh, that's my phone. And then I take the Anastasia brow, clear brow gel, and I brush them up. And just brush them up. This is like running out a little bit. And then I just like sculpt it with some concealer. But I'm going to do my other eye and I'll come right back. Back, I applied some, um, what's that? Some P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 2. So in true Jaclyn Hill fashion, we're going to do a reddish smoky eye which I'm like I've been dying to do because I really wanted to do a red look perfectionists right here I to do to make sure that the colors like pop I go in with my this is a morphe m441 brush as I um, fill out my description bar it will be there so what I like to do is I like to go in and I like to set that P. Louise base right away and I keep it pretty low just to set it with some eyeshadow. You can do this with um, translucent powder as well but I'm using the eyeshadow color. This is what I like to do because it also helps my blending later on. And take a clean brush with no eyeshadow and just like blend the top. All right, next color, I'm gonna just go straight in with the red in here and it's called Living My Best. And we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna probably speed up this part because it's kind of like self-explanatory, the same thing that we just did. Save some time. I had already went in with Crazy from the palette, this bottom shade. Pretty much the same concept, you know, going in, deepening the crease, coming back out. You know, just doing the same method of, um, to really get that color in there. Like, look how nice and, like, burnt it looks. Like, oh, I love it. Just bring it up ever so slightly. Like, the positioning is everything. So I'm going to take that black in the palette, Temptress, tap it off a little bit, and I'm just going to put that right 
this is a smoky eye brush from Moda Brushes. It looks like this. Small circles and then like windshield wiper motions. The best way to blend. Look at that, that looks so good. Now I just gotta level out this side. This is looking really smoky. I don't want it too, too black, so that's why I just wanted it on the outside of my crease. And I'm just going to blend it in ever so slightly and connect everything. My eye right here is kind of a little bit lower than this eye. So I have to make sure the blends kind of match up. Empowered color. I always usually just spray my brush, but let's let's try these shadows because these shadows are really pigmented and really nice. So you see, ooh wee, it's looking good. It's looking good. But I do want a nice hint of like red on the eye. My Carnival the Perfect palette. I love this palette. It's my baby. Like, it's every makeup artist's dream. If you need a palette to start with, it has all your colors for clients, for everything. Like, I love it. This one, this red shimmer one. That's how it looks on my finger. And I'm gonna just put it on top. Let's just see what happens. Because it does look more red. And Oh yeah, that just made it more red to me. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Because before it was like pinky, but now this is kind of like red. Then I like to take my blending brush, my trusty M441, and I just like to make sure that everything is slightly blended with a nice light hand. So I'm gonna do the face at this time. I like to do some people like to do like the bottom of their eyes and then they do the bottom of their eyeshadow but I like to do my face because it, that's just like my process that's just what I do um so yeah let's just start with the face like the face takes me a good good eh, good minute I'm gonna go in with the Catrice foundation and my color is in color am I? Oh, oh 60 Latte Macchiato Beige and I'm actually going to mix that with Dalton Beauty um, Tan Skin Perfector. I've been using this with like everything for a whole year now and it has not failed me. I even have some and I mix it into like the foundations with my clients. Like I just love the effect that it gives. Like, you can wear this by by itself, the Dalton Beauty, and then, like, go about your day. Like, it's really nice. It's really light. And then I love the mattifying effect from the Catrice. So it's the best of both worlds. It gives me that nice, dewy, flawless finish that I like. Oh, but before we do all of that, I'm going to go in with an illuminator, and this is from Sleek. It's in the, what is this, what color is this? Oh, it doesn't even say, but it's the bronze color. So I'm going to just do like a drop. One drop here, one drop there. You don't need a lot. Just to put it on my face for like a nice illuminating effect. See? Just like that. This is something that I love to do. If I don't use my like beauty oil sometimes, that's another staple in my routine. Um, I would put like a beauty oil just like along my eye area, but I'm not gonna do that today. Just trying to like prolong this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who that? See, it just kind of like bronzing up my skin. And I'm just doing that like on the face portion. So this is a more Sigma F80 brush. And that's like one of my favorite brushes for foundation. 
foundations. The damp beauty sponge from Morphe. My wig on. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use my brush, but I just stamp on the color, and then I use my brush to blend it out. You don't need a lot of foundation on your forehead anyway. Um, if you have like prob a problematic skin tone or like any like acne or something like that, then yeah. But thankfully, I am past that period in my life where I had horrible acne. Yes, believe it or not, I had horrible cystic bumps on my face. Child, they were not cute at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see how dewy and nice my skin is looking? Like, love that. Like, love, love. Next, I'm going to take my trusty Fenty Beauty um, matchstick. I love this stuff. Just give me a nice contour. We're not gonna go too crazy because I do have on a wig. I'm just gonna go there, there. I use this matchstick so much that I'm running out. Like literally, like that's it. That's left. I would usually use a like a medium tone skin, skin concealer and then I would use a lighter one but I don't have any medium tone for me right now. Yeah, so we're just gonna use the Fenty concealer in the shade 290, which is really light. Um, but it's doable. So you see, it's very, very light. I usually use the shade 310 just to like even everything out um, on my whole face and I would use this just like right here but I'm using it on my whole face today so we're gonna be really highlighted and I like to start off with a little bit before I let that go on just a little bit on the forehead like, I honestly want to stop highlighting my forehead. Um, like, I stop highlighting my chin because I don't want to bring highlight there. The Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. This is one of my favorite setting sprays ever of all time. Like, the way it gives you, like, a nice dew, so good. Yeah, just use a nice real technique sponge to hide my double chin. And snatch my face a little bit. You gotta work with what God gave you. So just doing these like tapping motions, you blend really quickly. You blend easier and you blend faster. Instead of just like swiping every, everywhere, you don't want to do that. You just want to tap. And tap, tap, tap. Like the same brushes for everything. So I would like squeeze this and I would tap, tap, tap and come down. So see? And then you get that nice snatched look. So just squeeze it. And this saves me time. It saves me time on clients. Like, I don't got to be using different brushes for different things. Like, no, sis. Like, this is perfectly fine to do. I love everything Fenty. Like, they are just changing the game when it comes to cosmetics and skin. Like, that Fenty skin um, toner. I do want to try it. I have to like try it. The skincare. That is my my jam. I am a skincare junkie. In case you didn't know, I'm a licensed esthetician as well.
more concealer just for the coverage purposes i will do like a little tiny tiny bit more dot and keep it just up up here like right there i like coverage you don't have to do this but for me i like i have a deep set eye so i really like to make sure i'm covered coverage wise you want to make sure everything is blended, no harsh lines, and I usually go back and I keep going back to blend out everything. This is why my makeup takes me forever sometimes because it's just all about like the blend really and getting everything to be seamless. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with powder and I'm going to use this Stay Matte by Rimmel Translucent Powder all over my face with a powder puff but first I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set my under eyes with it like really quickly because I don't want that area to crease and then pat it on your skin like that and I like to set do it on your arm and set This really helps to keep the concealer in place and it's not going nowhere. Powder puff. I watch um, Patrick Starr do this and I'm like, you know what? He is so smart. Like, I like doing the powder puff riff with. And it's so funny because he needs to come out with that MAC. Um, with that MAC setting powder that he had which I do have but it's all out he needs to come back out with it because that powder Whew. I'm gonna go in and bronze and contour and all that stuff right now for bronzer I'm using the MAC um, MW45 for bronzer right now and I just like this color like I like I loved um Give Me Bronze from Mac but I don't I ran out of that so I started using this and I'm like oh okay cool I like this it's kind of the same kind of not it's more like different to me but you see I like to pat on and then swipe my under here and then I take this it cosmetics brush that looks like this with the side and I love to use this brush dip it in slightly and just to outline that contour that I have with the bronzer how I get my nose contour so sharp and it's so easy it blends really nicely it's not just like two lines in your face it actually blends it out let's see this is a Jaclyn Hill um, palette with Becca cosmetics I've been supporting Jaclyn for a very very long time and yeah like like I said, like drama aside, I love the makeup and the makeup has worked out in my favor. So it is what it is. I like it. I like what I like. Okay, so now um, I'm going to take a little bit, a little bit of Bahama Mama by the Balm. I have this little, looks like this. And I'm going to take a little tiny bit, tiniest bit on a yeah I'm gonna use the same brush and I just squeeze it and tiny is here just on the outside of my contour
After I put the black, I'm mixing these two shades. So crazy and the red shade. Just a little bit on your packer brush. And put that over the black. Yeah, mixing that empowered color and it's just so pretty like no extra product I will take that down here first just to smooth out that shadow or any harsh line and this is from Sigma um, just a black eyeliner and line my underwater line black oh yes yeah. so this is looking super smoky and I like to just go tight line on the top real quick scrape off into it so it's on your spoolie and then I like to just brush it up that should do the trick usually this is how I blend my hair <laughs> to my brows or anything that you have and it's not the same shape in the end I just do that but yeah you could just use an eyeshadow and I like to use my products interjectionally like in different ways so that helps me and you can see it's already lightening up a little bit more and then for my eyes I'm going to dip into the um, Fenty Beauty powder and what color is this? I'll tell you in just a second just a little bit and just like pat it on and then swipe off this powder is very, very pigmented and very good. You have to pat it on, like pat, 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 and then swipe off. Spray my face after I'm done with all those powders. So it'll just and that Catrice mist is gonna just. Do me up real good. Like, what did I just say? I'm gonna use um, champagne pop. I haven't used champagne pop in a minute. I've been doing a lot of like golden highlights. So, I, I love this um, Sigma brush from F04. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see. But I love this to highlight with, like, oh my gosh. I got this trick from that girl, Shea XO, and it stuck with me for years. So shout outs to her. She's another person that I love to watch. I'm such a huge fan of, too. So, just in the high points. Look at that. Oh, yes. Yeah, they light me up. Champagne pop was my shit. Like I have so much backups of this. Oh yes. And the thing I like about this brush too is it blends it in at the same time. So you don't have like a streak of highlight just sitting there. Go on top of your cupid bow. Use something that's in the palette too. This top shade i want something a little bit more neutral because the eyes are like crazy i haven't used this palette in so long oh my gosh i'm gonna do something that i've been doing a lot um i've been taking like a cream like, like say truffle matchstick I'm taking it from the top of it and I'm going to use that as a lip liner it's 
So Jacqueline Hill is known for her nudes. Then I'm using Creme de Nude. Looks like that. And it's like almost done, pretty much. Because I love it so much. This trick is so easy and so, it just makes it look better. Like, everything is blended right. And then for lip gloss, I'm gonna use my favorite, 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 favorite lip gloss, favorite lip gloss. Like, it's this one called Glitter Lip Enhancer Duchess by Pure Cosmetics. And literally, I can't, I can't live without this gloss anymore. Like, oh, love it. And then you just put it just right in the center. And I like to even distribute. Just a little tiny bit. Oh my god, look at that. You don't need a lot. A little bit does a trick. I'm pretty much done. Um, I do need an inner corner highlight. So we're gonna take from the palette this one. And what are we gonna use as an inner corner highlight? She has so much, but I think something really bright. I'm gonna go in with brighter diamonds. Hopefully that's not too dark. But bright enough. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's kind of like a pinky one. I'm going to fix my hair, um, probably straighten it a little bit, um, and do my mascara and my lashes off camera, and I will be right back to show y'all the finished look. Right, you guys so this was the final look i hope you really enjoyed me getting glam with me today and there will be more i have just have to plan you know in according to but there will be more videos i'll even probably see if i can get some models to come on here and do makeup with glam sessions with us so just make sure oh, i am wearing a top so can see I'm wearing this cute sexy little thing. I'm just gonna run with the punches and just stop thinking about it and just get on YouTube. Everybody keeps telling me get on YouTube, get on YouTube and I was just like eh, you know when the time is right, when the time is right but I am gonna make a consistent effort now to come back on YouTube and you know interact with my followers on Instagram and if you're not following me, make sure you're following me at s underscore r underscore beauty with two y's on Instagram. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you are so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I mean, you don't want to miss the slaces. Do all that good stuff like, you know, notifications and all of that. It would help me out in growing this page. And yeah, I just hope... In the future, I will just get better at filming and like maybe like a different like studio setup. It's just it. This is my Jaclyn Hill look inspired look featuring the palette. I love it. The shadows are great. This is kind of like a late review on it. Very toned. I love the, the, the deep burgundy shades. That's definitely more fall right now. And yeah, it's kind of like just like a basic like all around me all year round type of palette like i really do love it so it's great to be in your kit sit down and play with makeup and have fun again and despite what's going on in the world 
despite COVID-19, you know, just wear your mask and try and be safe out there. And, you know, that's all we really can do until everything gets back to normal, whatever that is. <laughs> because at this point, I don't know if we're going to ever get back to normal. But let's keep our faith and our hopes crossed. And, you know, mentally, I hope everybody, mentally, emotionally, physically, everybody is well out there. And that you guys are staying safe. That's the most important thing. Till next time, thank you for watching. Bye.